Lord of the Son of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. We'll see what the challenge is going to be after the present time, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. Uh, Aries, I should start by saying sorry about the sound quality. I know it's really bad. It's been that way for about two weeks. Um, I dropped my recording device and it hasn't been working the same. But hang in there with me. It's, it'll get better. I'm expecting a new recording device hopefully this week so sorry about that and thanks for watching just put on some ear phones if you have any that will help you to hear the reading better okay so Aries in the recent past we got the seven of Pentacles and nine of swords now the seven of Pentacles it's a card about returns on investments this can be literal could be a bank account returning money to you or figuratively such as investments or time, effort and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. And this would have been really positive in the recent past. You should have been feeling more secure than you had in a while. Things would have been moving along and you're, you're probably feeling hopeful about the future of the good cause. You may have needed to decide whether to put your energy into people, situations that you were already involved with, or to spend your time and energy trying to bring more into your life. So this Seven of Pentacles is paired with Nine of Swords, which is showing anxiety. So you might have had to guard yourself against these feelings. Um, you could have started to feel really anxious. You needed to take a look at whether or not any of that was under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or people in your life were, were contributing to this anxiety. If this was the case, you needed to take a good look at that or that's what you did. And find out whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. Because there's something about the time period that you were in that could have made you feel that your life should have been um, bigger or more than it was or just different so it was about trying to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is so basically in the recent past Aries I'm picking up that there was something that you really really wanted to work really wanted to work because that's what she's doing she's growing a plant it was probably a baby when she first got it, but she gets up every morning and before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. So something you really, really wanted to work, and it caused a lot of anxiety. Probably nightmares, grief, and depression. But that's a recent past. Let's see what we got coming up for the present time, the third week of September. We got the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Now, the Six of Cups is a it's a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be, it can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now the Six of Cups to the Seven of Swords is a card that you could find that in any sort of competitive situation you come out on top. Things should be going really well. You should be feeling good for your projects if you have any. They'll be moving right along. You still might have some regular moments of self-doubt though. But now will be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make what you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear. And you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card points to being independent and thinking for yourself. So what we got coming up for the third week of September with these two cards paired together, Seven of Wands and Six of Cups. Now, Six of Cups is about happy memories, some some type of familiarity. Um, someone from your past could be trying to rekindle or make a reappearance. A long lost lover could be returning. Yeah, someone from the past could be returning or wanting to get back with you, Aries. Uh, this person is going to want to come out on top. Yeah, 
if they feel like they're in a competitive situation with you, this person will want to be the last man standing. So you got someone from the past returning. They got a lot of happy memories with you and they realize that you're the one that they want to be with. Yeah, so some a long lost love is returning here. I don't know if you're happy to hear about that. I know a lot of my listeners say, can we please get off the past? But that's what's coming up. That's what's coming up. Someone from the past is returning. Yeah, they remember all the good things. And this person is going to want to be the last man standing or last woman standing. So let's see what the challenge is. We got this two of wands and ace of pentacles. Two of wands. Um, with this card, you could have two paths toward the future, or you could have two options toward the future. Yeah, because you see how this man in the picture, the two of wands is the card above the word challenge. He's got a wand on the right side and a wand on the left side. He's more focused towards one wand, the one with the bird in his hand. And that side has his, his ankle is tied to the wand and he's facing that wand and he's looking more in that direction where the bird is. Now the other one, he has his hand tied to. So it's about trying to make a decision. Yeah, you could have Two options towards a future. Now, this two of wands, it's with this Ace of Pentacles, which is beautiful. I love the Ace of Pentacles. It's about enjoying new beginnings on several levels. Uh, these are very positive new beginnings. So your uh, likeliness to feel optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things will be going really well, and you could be starting something new really soon. Now, this could be work or personally, but either way, it's a darn good thing. Yeah, so if you're committed, it will rise to new and better heights, and the two of you will reconnect. So, yeah, anyway, Aries, you got this person from the past that wants to come back, wants to be the last man standing, but for you, you've got a choice to make because it looks like you could have something going on over here, then you got this person coming back. Wow, and you're really focused on something. Whatever's got your ankle tied, and whatever's making you look in the direction of the bird, could be the person from the past, or it could be some other direction, but you're trying to make a decision. This past person, or maybe a new person, because you got this new beginning down here with the Ace of Pentacles. So, one of the decisions or one of your options you know that it will bring you a great new beginning so it's all about making this a decision past person or this other option yeah so you you know personally that one of them is going to make you really happy and, and um, make it uh, make your life feel like it's a great new beginning so that's a challenge trying to make a decision now let's see what the outcome is wow we got this four of wands which is beautiful and the hangman so the four of wands indicates that you could be attending a special event uh, it'll be more fun than you're anticipating go you have a great time business is going good everything is going well you're proud of yourself others proud of, others are proud of you also this is a very positive card to get into reading it shows that you do need to keep your wits about yourself Although you should treat yourself to some fun, just know you're probably in a, you're probably still in the building up phase, and now is really not the time to rest completely. Yeah, this card could mean that you're moving. Also, you could mean that you're moving your place of residence. When it comes to relationships, when it talks about relationships as four of wands, it's about commitment, long term marriage. Everything's everything becomes a whole lot more committed up to, yeah. Engagement, marriage, everything goes to the next level. This is serious stuff with the Four of Wands. Yeah, it's a beautiful card. If you could see the details of the card, these two people. The Four of Wands is the card above the word outcome. You got these two people that are looking directly into each other's eyes. And if you could just see the joy in their, on their face, it's just 
is awesome. So it's, this card is just, it's commitment. It's um, being serious. Now, it's interesting because it's with the hangman. The hangman just shows that you're at a crossroads. Could be one with two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You may find yourself wanting to do something but having no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if this does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might let go of attempts. Attempts to control life, people, situations, and things. It could also be that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. This will open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. So this is about for reflective time. Yeah, so Aries, you got this, um, like I said, I'm picking up it's still the same person from the recent past. Or some not from the recent past. It's this person from the past. The Six of Cups. They wouldn't be the last man standing. You've got a, you're trying to make a decision. Uh, you know one of your options is going to take you to a really great new beginning. Could be with them. Or it could be with whatever else you're thinking about. This person from the past, they could be wanting marriage, long-term commitment. And it's got you confused. You're stuck in your head now. It's something you got to let go of. But you can't do it just yet. You're still trying to make a decision. <laughs> so, yeah, Gary, you're going to be confused coming up middle of September or maybe around now. And somebody's coming back that's going to make your head spin. <laughs> and they're going to want to be serious with you this time. I don't know if they were last time. And it's going to cause confusion. So, Aries, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Put on some headphones. I know this is not a clear speaking reading. So you don't have to put it in the comments. I'm aware of it. I'm taking care of it. I'm handling my business. You'll get some clearer readings really soon. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those.